I just come back from Australia and I felt like it was starting to meddle with my accent a little bit. So I've asked my audience to send me some proper British TikToks and hopefully I'll be trying to Britishize myself a little bit more. That sounded like shies. So that's not what I'm trying to do. And it is sad to be saying goodbye to my lovely world. You mother... I come back from an exhausting tour and you're telling me Stampy has quit. I've seen this. Is hard. Yeah, you know this is not a British right. TikTok. The waves, the waves are crashing, crashing. I'm lying paralyzed from the back end. Oh, yeah. It's wild. This is what happened when you let a man cook. I honestly can't believe it either. <laughs> I, I sent this to Jono and he was like, bro, what the f***? I told Jono the other day, I was like, oh yeah, I only really started listening to music again when I was 19 years old. And then I started making it as a joke when I was making YouTube videos and now I'm doing this. And he was like, because we always have, we already have this thing with people in the industry and we talk to them, they're like, oh, like how long have, how long have you been, go have you guys been going? And we're like, oh, it's around a year. Like our tour manager in Australia was like, what? <laughs> a year and you're here. You're not that. showering after the bar. What are you doing? I don't leave the bar, mate. Oh, yeah. You think I want to see my wife at home? Ah, keep the Stellas coming. Oh, yeah. I went to a bar last night. That sounds like the, the, the start of a joke. It really isn't. And the amount of people there that I've told that I don't drink alcohol to, and they've offered me a drink and I've gone, oh, I don't drink alcohol. And they go, oh, is it just like a... Uh, like just this month or tonight? Why are you not drinking tonight? And I'm like, no, it's it's almost been two years now. And they're like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, you're, you're a stronger man than I. <laughs> it's so intrinsic to our fucking culture. Fucking angry this morning, yeah. So I thought I'd make a fucking video. Why I'm angry? Don't ask me why. I just woke up in a fucking steaming mood, yeah. Because I live in a shithole. Do you know what I mean? Birmingham is a fucking shithole. I hate the fucking place. I'm pretty sure I'm opening my next tour in Birmingham, so I'm gonna post this on that day. Maybe Maybe we'll even put this on the screen. Maybe that will walk on to we'll walk on stage to this video. Oh my god, that is Hosier. To be fair, why are we surprised? I am most certainly not surprised that Hosier had a career to do with singing before being an incredibly talented singer. You're not stupid, Karen. No, I am actually. I'm failing almost everything. You didn't know this? It's because money is the biggest shield of them all. Oh, that sounded very, very Tory of me. The biggest shield of them all is. Your little Pookie bear. I'm owning Pookie these days. I think the Australians are the one who st are the ones who started it. The amount of people holding up a Pookie sign when I was touring, wild. <laughs> the fucking wee business. Kill it. Kill it. <laughs> you split that fucker in half. That's why a Jaffa cake is not a cake. You could only do that with a biscuit. Fuck off. I am all for a little joke. I am all for getting a little bit agitated, not scoring a few chances. That is taking the fucking piss. That is daylight fucking robbery, and I'm a victim. He's and from I'm Manchester, isn't he? I have family that are Mancunian and, and Scouse, and, and you may not believe that. What percentage of me do you think is Scouse? You're not going to believe the response. Chat, I am I am 50% Scouse. I am 50% Liverpudlian. I'm not lying. My dad is fully Scouse, and he trained himself out of the accent, and now I sound like a posh cunt. That's bloody nice. That is really... That is bloody lovely. I'm not a fan of tea. Tell you what fucks though, lads. A matcha latte. A matcha latte with oat milk and vanilla syrup. Bosh. Greg, what are you doing? He's threatening to kill us. I thought he was flirting. <laughs> I love Stephen Merchant. I think sometimes I give Stephen Merchant. We're both very tall men. This is the storm in the UK at the moment. Don't know where it is though. Like I, I, I've traveled up to London. I've come back to Brighton. Motherfucker, it is nowhere to be fucking seen. Clearly it's terrified of me and I would be too. Look at the state of me. Wait, the state of me would mean something negative. Northern England. People go up there? I thought it was just a joke. I thought, you know, like it was like the, like fucking, I thought it was abandoned. I thought we all moved down to London. Some of my favorite British culture moments. Vegan sausage rolls. Are you, have you eaten a vegan I've not, but it's- Fuck this guy. Why does his voice sound so caramelly here? Vegan sausage roll. Like, am I the first to think that? Why are you laughing for? What, Chris, why are you laughing for? Why are you laughing Brilliant. for? I'm being serious. This I'm is half me. I'm being serious. Oh my God, it's mental, right? I was in Australia uh, for my uh, sold out tour. 
And I started speaking in an Australian accent, slightly. What in every 200 sentences said in Australian? Oh, this is a brilliant clip. This is a brilliant clip. This reminds me of my, me and my sister. Does somebody not know how to flush a toilet after they've had a shit? Well, I was fucking one of yes. Disgusting. Me, my sister, my sister would have definitely been the one to do the shit. This boy doesn't poo. I'm gonna put it out there. You can put this on any future Wikipedia article or, you know, any news article. If you see any people writing an interview with me, write in and be like, is it true that James is a, sh is a shy shitter? <laughs> If there's people in the house, I, I go to the furthest toilet. I'm proper silent with it, right? I'm deadly. I get it done. People don't even know it's happened. You know what I mean? I don't have IBS. And this is shocking news because my sister has it. Sorry for <laughs> airing up my sister's IBS. My mum has it. My dad has it. They all got it in their early 20s. Your boy's at least fucking 50. I don't have IBS. I can't believe how drunk you are. I am not drunk. Can you tell the time? Yes. I am not fucking drunk. A classic British clip. I think no one does alcoholism like the UK. What the fuck? What the fuck are you doing? Uh, what are you doing? Fire. Are we fire? That's what I see when I see anyone walking a child. It looks for him in Uxbridge, also something uh, the, where there may be some concern. He had a 12,000 majority 12, here. 12,000? It's now down to 5,000. 5, Some people think it won't happen again. It won't happen again! Thank At least he was kind of ad-libbing it. If I was that news reporter, I'd feel cool. Now it's 12,000. 12K! What is he walking? A Henry the Hoover. Have you ever popped your cock in one of them? Number one, the sexiest one of them all. We have it's the British American. accent. This little fucker's eating the chicken goozer. I think the British accent has aided me so fucking much in my online career. I think that's half of the reason you're even seeing me right now. Because I think some people online went, Oh my god, he sounds like a proper posh twat. I think the Scouse accent's fucking sick. <laughs> oh my god. I felt this way coming back from uh, Australia. I was in Australia. We came back at like 7, 8 a.m. in the morning after a 25-hour travel day and a bit. And we were driving home and it was the fucking worst weather. It was dark. It was dismal. And all of us in the car were just trying to big ourselves. We're going like, that's our fucking death. This is our country. I should have fucking swallowed you and I had chance you. <laughs> British families all love each other. And that's why you hear so much about mine. Stop. Making the eyes at me, I'll stop making the eyes at you. What it is that surprises me is that I don't really want you to, because your shoulders are frozen, it's arthritis, you're an explosion, it's diarrhea. There is just this weird thing about, like, British humour where people over the age of 50 just find poo really funny. And, like, it's not funny, it's actually quite serious. Like, I don't... I know so many people with IBS. And in fairness, in a way, I have IBS too. Because I'd be shitting. Are you sure you don't want a wheelchair? I don't want to go in a wheelchair, you fucking twat. Yes! <laughs> Why? I'm fucking walking. Why do you think? I'm bloody, bloody walking. This reminds me of my grandma. My grandma refuses help from any motherfucker. Someone's like, let me carry that plate of ridiculously heavy things. My grandma's like, fuck off. You telling me I can't do that shit? I'm fucking human. Dad! I want to fucking walk in here. Dad! Dad! <laughs> I swear I only ever see clips of British mirrors falling down. One, why is it always us? Two, why do British people have mirrors? Because it doesn't look like any of us use them. Not even kidding, once a week I see shit like this. It's nuts. I was walking down the road the other day uh, the other day with a group of friends. Random man uh, just like, comes up to us. Jono just says like, oh, that's amazing. And then he goes, oh, it's amazing. <laughs> Who invites these fuckers to barge into my conversations? Five meals that proved you grew up in a British household. I'm gonna say if one, I had them. Chili con carne. One of the worst meals to ever exist, in my opinion. The British version of it is horrendous. Come on, stew. Oh my god, stew! When my mother would tell me it was stew for dinner, rough evening at the fucking office, lads. I love that. I love this fucking country. I love this fucking country. We went to Australia. Jono has a friend out there. We're going to refer to her as T. And we were hanging out with T. And every time there was a song that came on that the band knew, we were all like singing along to it. Like if ABBA came along, we were like... Da -da 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 
She turned to us. Bear in mind, she's half British. She turned to us at one point and she was like, can you fucking stop being so British? I live here. <laughs> We were too British and that if she ran into people she knew, they would bully her for it. You can take the man out of Britain. You can't take the Britain out of the man.